Hi guys, welcome back to a new video, a very long overdue video actually, I haven't filmed one of these what's in your bag videos for a long time, plus I thought I'd kind of mix in with a what's on my iPhone as well. Seeing as my iPhone is permanently inside my bag when I'm out and about, I kind of felt like it was quite appropriate to maybe look at my phone as well. So that's what we're doing today, I'm going to have a look at my bag, the bag I use the most, what's inside it, and also a little peek onto my iPhone. So, as you probably know, and as you probably guess, this is the bag that I've been using the most recently. It's my most recent purchase, it's my most loved bag right now, I absolutely adore it, and it's perfect for the season as well in this burgundy shade. Love the silver hardware, I've kind of said all this before, but yeah, if you've not seen any of my other videos, you may not have seen this before. It's the Dior Diorama bag in the Bourguignon shade, which is almost like an oxblood raspberry shade, and it's in the medium size. There is a larger version of this, and also a smaller version but this is in the medium size which is a perfect size for me and everything I like to fit in it. So this is the bag from the front with the kind of signature Dior patterning on it which goes round to the back in this ribbed effect on a textured leather as well. So let's see what's inside. Now inside it's actually really pretty, it's like a baby blue finish just inside, which I thought was really gorgeous, and it's kind of like a satin fabric. Apparently it's the same fabric they use for their satin ribbons, that's quite cute. It also says Christian Dior Paris here in silver as well. Okay, so I purposefully didn't want to kind of go through this too much, and there are things that I take in and out of my bag quite often because they're things I use every day, but this now is generally how my bag is every single day when I go out. I wanted to keep it kind of true and not clean it up too much. Okay, so I'll start off with everything else apart from my phone. So I always have tissues in here because when I run out the house, I usually always get a runny nose at some point. So I either have packets of tissues or I literally just take off a few pieces of toilet paper, take it with me just in case I get like a little runny nose. So always, always tissues. And now there's dust everywhere. There is a pack of Mentos in here with one mint left. I bought these, I think, in Boston, a pack of Mentos. They always have mints, like my friends know I'm the one with the mints. Like I always, I keep saying to Alex recently, why don't you buy mints and then I can have one instead of you always asking me for a mint. Literally no one else ever has them apart from me, because you never know. Let's get the boring things out of the way. So I've got a pair of Apple headphones, Apple earphones, I still think these are the best. I've tried a few other ones and none of them ever fit in my ears quite as nicely as the Apple earphones, so I always have them for like boring cab journeys or boring train journeys or anything like that, especially on planes. I actually have a pack of Rennies in here because I get really bad ingestion sometimes and a really bad tummy, especially when I'm on flights. I think it's how your stomach expands on flights, get a really bad stomach ache. So I always have a little pack of Rennies just in case. Then in here I have the MAC eye pencil in coffee. I must just need this for little like updates to my eyeliner throughout the day. I must have been out recently and used this and taken it with me. I don't generally have this with me but it is a great eyeliner. I've got a couple of lipsticks in here. First one is the Liquid Lip Velvet in number nine, Fawn Rose. It's one of my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks right now. It's the most beautiful consistency. It literally is like velvety. Super soft, smooth finish on the lips. And in this shade, it's almost like a muted, deep rose, Fawn Rose. It's stunning. I'm absolutely obsessed. I always have that with me for touch-ups. The one I'm wearing now is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Anastasia, as other people say. Anastasia Beverly Hills, pure Hollywood. It's just a very classic nude. It just sort of suits me. I have two of these, so I'm wearing one today. And in here I also have another Burberry, actually. The Burberry Nude Beige Burberry Kisses Sheer, which is such a beautiful nude that goes on with a very sheer shine, not really shine, but more glossy sheen finish. It just makes your lips look a little bit more kind of pouty and fresh and, and voluptuous and beautiful and yeah. That's such a good one. I think I've mentioned this before, but it's the kind of thing you could pull out your bag and if you didn't have a mirror, you'd be able to apply this to your lips. And due to the kind of shade it is and the kind of sheer consistency, it would always look great. Got my keys in here. On here I have, this is probably the newest thing you've ever seen before. I got this in Canada when me, Leon, Carly and Alex went to Canada. It's just lovely wooden maple leaf with the Canadian flag and a little heart on there. I still have my Japanese keepsake that I got from Japan that I'm pretty sure this means hope or love. Either way, it's meant to be a nice little charm. 
and I still have my key rings. These have been in all of my what's in my bags. I still have them. Edward Moncton key rings. They just have these really lovely little messages on them that my mum got me. I love that. Okay, in here I've also got a beauty blender that I keep inside the little case now because you always have concealer on this and I generally always throw in a beauty blender into my bag whenever I go out. The amount of bags now that have like smudges of concealer inside them because I've had my sponge in there, it's just totally ruining them. So I've started now putting it back inside the beauty blender case. Also to keep it much cleaner as well, I mean I, that is pretty gross. Obviously I do wash it every time before I start using it so it's not too big a deal but it just keeps it much more sanitary and stops ruining my bags and I have that alongside the iconic London palette so I generally always have this in any bag that I take out because it's got quite a few different shades in here so I use these now for topping up my concealer and general areas on my face it's not too thick or cakey but it's got quite a high finish coverage so I'll use this one the most especially for my concealer this one for a bit more brightening this one for highlight and this one for contouring I always have that a tube of Carmex I need a new one this is literally just about to run out it's my one and only and also in here I've got a Cafe Nero card with only one thing on it which is a shame I have about a hundred I think of like one loyalty cards they're everywhere I've also got my driving license and I've got a couple of cards in here and the only other thing that's inside here now is just a receipt from Dior which is for a pair of heels that I had them repair for me and they message of the day to say they're ready so I put this in my bag ready so I don't forget and that when I go into Dior I at least will have the receipt with me or else I won't be able to pick them up so that's in there too and otherwise it's completely empty now and the only other thing left in it is my phone so this is the iPhone 6s plus I would love to get the 7, I'm thinking of maybe updating and getting the 7, but to be honest this is actually quite fairly new, it's only about a year old and it, it still works perfectly well. The case that I have on it is the biggest godsend ever, honestly. The idea of putting a mirror on the back of your phone, it's always something I thought about but never realised just how much I'd need it until I had it now. I don't really need another mirror, I mean I know I like having this because this is a huge mirror, but for like lipstick application and everything else throughout the day this is so so handy I can't even explain but it's from a brand called Zero Gravity it says inside of here honestly I want to get another one of this because it's a little bit a little bit bruised and battered now and a bit dirty and quite often I'll have my phone on me in my pockets and if I'm ever thinking is my lipstick here is my mascara ran is my hair in the right place I can quickly just do this and put it back and it's you know you're all good again so honestly I can't tell you how handy it is things to show you on my phone. The background, so it's on the background I've got a picture of me and Alex. My lock screen is some pretty peonies as well which I really really like. So let's see, I'm still trying to get used to this new update, it's weird. Okay so this is my phone. Generally the first screen I have everything that I use every single day. Second screen are things I use now and again not as much. Yeah that's kind of generally it. So and I also have messages, mail, phone and Twitter along the bottom like priorities, <laughs> things I always go to. But then honestly things on this main screen I generally use every single day. So we've got like photos, calendar, camera, like calendar. I could not live without this phone's calendar. Everything that I do and everything that's in my diary goes into the iPhone diary. Alex is hooked up to my diary, my managers are hooked up to my diary just so everyone knows where I am and what I'm doing and it's actually really handy that way. But there's also maps, I could not live without maps. I'm constantly looking at where I am and where I'm going and I find maps is by far the easiest one. I don't care what Google Maps says, maps is the easiest one. Notes, I have loads of notes in my phone. I like to keep notes on absolutely everything whether it's ideas of what to film, ideas of what blog posts to write, I keep everything inside notes so I use that like daily. Dropbox I like to use, it's just a good way to get pictures from my laptop to my phone if I want to start Instagramming anything. Instagram of course, my probably my favourite app is Instagram. So if you don't follow me already I'm just in the fro on Instagram. I mean yeah I absolutely love Instagram, it's a shame that the new algorithm has hit, it's just not quite the same as it used to be. I still really enjoy putting a lot of things onto my Instagram. Some people that I follow, I'll show you a few that I love. Little underscore magpie one Amy is a babe. Megan Elby, total babe. In fact my whole feed on Instagram will be people I absolutely love so I follow 367 and generally I will like 
everybody's picture that comes up because I'm totally in love with their profiles. Like I don't follow people that I'm not going to like. I honestly think it's just nice to like people's pictures. I don't think people want to like photos anymore. You know, I feel a couple of years ago people were so into Instagram and they'd like and like and like and I just feel like people now scroll, they don't like anymore. And it's just a bit of a shame. It kind of ruins the point of Instagram which is about engagement and chatting with people and showing your appreciation for pictures. So generally I will go through my feed and like every single picture because all the people I follow are pretty awesome. So I'm Jenim. It's amazing. Shavita Rossi because why would I not follow my queen? Song of Style, Annie Song, Danny Song right below. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful picture. Danny is awesome. Sunita, there's Kat Meffin looking absolutely incredible doing yoga. So there's a few, but honestly, if you have a look at my following list, then there might be some nice people there for you to have a look at. Shazam, if you've never heard of Shazam, it's such a good app. If you're kind of out in a cafe and you're like, what is this song? I love it. You just press Shazam, let your phone listen to the song, and it will tell you what song is on. It's just still one of the best apps out there. WhatsApp, obviously I use Snapchat. I've not snapped too much today, actually. I did a little bit of me filming. I'm filming, <laughs> a bit of a chatty bit. And then that was me and my bag collection. If you've not already watched my bag collection, I think that was my last video. So I'll leave you the link down below. But I just filmed all about my, my bags. It might have been about 30 in there. So have a peek if you like. But if you don't follow me already, <laughs> a promo. Um, Snapchat is just in the fro. In fact, I'm in the fro on every single channel there is. So you can find me that way. Google Chrome is my one and only app. I use Google Chrome for everything. Spotify as well. Spotify is like one of my absolute favourite apps. I use it every single day. I no longer use iTunes. I don't use Apple Music. I only use Spotify. And although I've bought so much old CDs and music in the past, I now just listen to digital. So I have a Spotify membership and I just use it for everything. I have loads of playlists. I'm pretty sure that I'm in the throw on Spotify as well if you want to look at my playlist. And then I've got a couple of apps that I use for my pictures. So um, I've got VSCO, VSCO cam. So it, VSCO is just great because you can kind of lay out your Instagram and sort of see how your pictures are going to look side by side. But it also lets you filter pictures with some really great filters in here. So it's all about finding which filters you love the most. There's, I mean, there's loads and you can buy them. They're not too expensive. But I generally will go into this first and pick a filter. I love that. Then there's Photoshop Express, which is another amazing app. It's just like Photoshop on your computer, but kind of like a dumbed down iPhone version. And you can take any picture. Let me find a picture. I don't know this one again. And it's just got lots of things you can do to it. There's filters or there are kind of corrective things so you can reduce the noise in it if it's quite grainy or you can add shadows in if you like or you can add vibrancy and make it super saturated like there's loads you can do on here it's great so i use that as well i then got my own little in the throw button which goes straight to my blog so it's just for mornings when i wake up and i've already had a blog post go live i can check that it's already on there so if you are a reader of my blog you can go to safari and then you can go across here and just press plus add to home screen and then when you press that it'll add a little in the throw button everything really on here i don't use that much like delivery is amazing just for getting deliveries of any kind of food to your door what else have i got i mean everything up here in the folders i don't generally use that's why i folded them away oh and depop depop is actually the one thing i've been using recently i've been putting some things up for sale on depop winter's jackets and some bags and things are on there so if you're interested i am selling some bits on there I'm just in the fro on Depop as everywhere else. I'll leave a link down below as well. But go and have a peek if you like. Hopefully some things will be still be left. But yeah, I'm on Depop every day now because I'm selling things. So that's why that's on there as well. So yeah, I think that is actually everything on my phone. Well, apart from Twitter, obviously, which again, I'm just in the fro on. I mean, I'm on Twitter every hour, pretty much tweeting or chatting with people or liking, favoriting. I pretty much try and favorite and like everything that anyone ever says to me because I want to show that I've read it. So if I've read it, I'll like it. If I don't like it, it means I haven't read your tweet. But yeah, that is everything, pretty much. I hope you enjoy that little insight into my bag and my phone. And I mean, this is quite an intimate, personal kind of video in honesty because how 
often do you get to go up to a stranger and ask them what's in their bag? <laughs> so it's kind of, I love watching these though. Like recently I watched Susie's and I watched Tamara's and they were really good and really nice ways to kind of see what they've been taking around with them and what they're liking the most. Because I guess everything that you put in your handbag for the day just shows how much you love it and how much, how loyal you are to it. So I hope that you enjoy this guys. If you did, please do give the video a thumbs up just down below to give it a like. And if you're brand new here, please do hit that subscribe button. I would love, love, love to have you back. It would be amazing. So just click this button on the screen here and it will subscribe you for two videos a week. Wednesday and Sunday at 7. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye. Mwah.